<clears throat> shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachakwadash, which is to say the only true name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a hearty shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so and never is waking up the hopeful elect <clears throat> of the nation of Israel. And to the believers and the few sisters that watch, I say shalom to you as well. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another spiritual spill. And as usual, nothing written down, just flowing through the spirit. And at best, we'll quote precepts. Okay. Now, uh, you know, just in wake of, uh, you know, uh, you know, entertaining uh, a beloved elder, you know, a couple weeks ago and, you know, uh, you know, sell, uh, uh, you know, uh, the Pasak service and, you know, fellowshipping with the brothers and, you know, seeing brothers in different camps abroad uh, in different chats, you know. And, and one thing I noticed is that uh, the, the spirit, you know, the spirit of love and camaraderie and, um, you know, just charity and alms and being jovial, you know, uh, I, I see it ramping up, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, I, 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 I didn't find it peculiar, but it's just, you know, it was something that I noticed, you know, but I was, I'm, I'm just living in it, you know, and uh, the beloved brother, uh, Ramak Nimyan, was bringing me home from camp the other day, and, uh, you know, we start conversating on how, how, you know, our spirits was like, you know, on one thou wow, <laughs> you know, and, um, you know, I was just telling him how I feel good, man. And, you know, he was saying the same thing and through the spirit, it feel good. Cause you know how, how it is, you know, uh, like the apostle Paul said, you know, how to abound and how to be abased, you know, it's, it's up and down. It's a, it's a roller coaster, you know, being in his faith and, you know, after, after after a few years, man, you, you, you learn how to, uh, you know, how to ride the wave, so to speak, you know, but, uh, you know, hey, speaking of now, man, you know, spirit been, you know, you know, uplifted, man. And, uh, you know, I asked him, is it me? Or he was like, nah, I feel the same way, brother. And I'm noticing that with brothers abroad, you know, he, uh, he recently went to, uh, you know, uh, they call it a conference, you know, up there in Atlanta, you know, uh, uh, with the heads and everything. And, you know, it was around some beloved brothers and he say the spirit was the same. Brothers, brothers were rejoicing. Brothers was, you know, he say the salutes were firm and, you know, and it's just a bunch of love in the air, man. You know, and, you know, us being spiritual men, you know, I, I just looked at it as, well, hey, man, some, something's about to happen. OK, some, something is about to happen. And we all... We all know this. We all feel this in our spirit. Even people that are not a part of this ministry feel it, you know. And I've always said, you know, I'm speaking as a man, um, that the Lord's going to have to pour out the spirit more and more and more and more upon us, okay, for us to be able to withstand the times that we're coming into, okay, because we, we, hey, there's no might in our hands, okay. We uh, are, are, you know, fashioned in sin. We're pretty much in the worst flesh that we've ever been in. Okay, uh, constantly fighting demons, uh, mentally, you know, spiritually, you know, fighting ailments physically, you know. So uh, the Lord's gonna have to perform a work, man. You know, and and, and um, you know, when you read scriptures about the ancient renowned men, okay, look, King David, <laughs> the arguably the mightiest man in the scriptures, you know. Of course, outside of our Lord Yahweh Shah, but he came like a lamb. You know, he he was led to the slaughter. You know, he didn't buck up or none of that. You know, but we know the valiant efforts that King David had. You know, slew a lion and a bear, Goliath. You know, took down a bunch of kings. Hands were so bloody, couldn't build a temple unto the Most High. Okay, yet and still, when you read those Psalms, he's crying out to the Lord. He's asking the Lord to not take his spirit away from him. He's telling the Lord to forgive him, you know, things of that nature and uh, uh, protect him from his enemies, you know? Not, yeah, 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 I killed the lion of the bear. These, 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 these jokers easy. This easy. No, no, no. He stayed in a humble and contrite spirit, you know? So how much more us, 
you know, in these times when Jake Jake see a lion or a bear, man, Jake Jake might pass out, man. <laughs> you know, I'm just being honest, man. You know, but um, yeah, the Lord Lord's gonna have to pour His Spirit out heavy, heavy, heavy for us first and foremost mentally to be able to withstand what's coming. And I, speaking as a man, I feel it now. And, and the brother Ramak said the same thing. You know, I, I feel it now. I feel like, you know, I, I can take off flying, man. You know, and obviously, you know, <laughs> hey, shit goes up and down because we were having that conversation Saturday, Sunday, uh, went to get a bite to eat, you know, and everybody got their food except me. I had to end up canceling my food, ended up waiting an hour and a half and then get a plate, you know, pissed to the highest level of pissivity. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I sucked it up and I said, you know, that's a, hey, that's a part of the balance, you know, hey, I still feel good through the spirit, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's another test, Lord, uh, you know, when you get chastised, are you still going to say, uh, the you by Shemel Shah, call Halayim like you by Shemel Shah? Okay, and I've, I've uh, incorporated that in, in my walk, and you know, uh, you know, brothers should do the same. You know, if you if you if you aren't, you know, it really helps. It really helps, you know. But you know, going to the topic, man, the, 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 the Lord is pouring His Spirit out, man. You know, I feel it. I see it more than anything. I see it in brothers. Okay, and not just in the camp I'm a part of, brothers abroad in different camps. I'm seeing it. Brothers are rejoicing because the scriptures say what? Rejoice evermore. You see? And more importantly, brothers, we got to think big. You know how the saying in the world, expect the unexpected? Hell no. Nah. Expect the expected. The scriptures speak about uh, the hopeful elect having an expected end. That's what the word hope means. Expect. Okay? We have an expected end. Why? Because the Most High declared the end from the beginning. Okay? And, and to... Put plainly, some people are going to be saved from the wrath of the Lamb, and some people are going to be destroyed by the wrath of the Lamb. Period, point blank. Okay? And Lord willing, our expected end is deliverance, is salvation. Okay? But we got to start manifesting it in our minds. Okay? Well, Salaki, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, meditating upon those things in our mind. You know, like the beloved uh, uh, Bishop Lawyer always says, man, you know, uh, be. You know, be kingdom minded, you know, you know, do, do you some videos talking about the kingdom? You see? Yeah, we're prophets of doom and gloom. Yes, we are. OK, and we're going to we're going to bring it out. We're going to prophesy against uh, great kingdoms, small and great. Yeah, we're going to do all that. OK, but we also got to prophesy about what's promised to those of us that wait upon Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. Shai. OK, and think big, you know, we read about Meshach, Shadrach and Abednego, Daniel and the lion's den. OK. Uh, uh, Jeremiah, you know, uh, who else? Uh, the Apostle Paul, you know, the, the 12, you know, the book of Acts. We, we read about all these situations, scenarios that they were in and the Lord delivered them out of, them. you know, as the scriptures say, uh, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the most high deliver of them out of them all. OK, that's got to be our mindset. OK, and the Lord has been showing us that on a on a, on a micro level. It uh, uh, now, you know. So imagine when ain't no food in the stores, okay? Or when wild beasts are uh, running up and down the street, okay? And these these goddamn niggly bears uh, have have lost all their wits. They they are almost there now. But imagine when they don't have no food and you know they turn into absolute animals, okay? We need protection. You know, and, and the bishop lawyer said uh, one time, uh, hey, brothers, get ready to see your guardian angel. OK, yeah, that's the mindset that we got to have, man. You know. Got to meditate upon these things, man, because uh, this shit, this shit about to get gangster. You know, it's, it's about to get gangster. We feel the pressure from above, pressure from beneath. OK, uh, the, 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 uh, the prices in the grocery store are skyrocketing. You know, they, they say I saw a video where it said uh, the prices of uh, groceries are up six percent from last year, man. OK. Six percent, man. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, hey, some got to give. And, and what's what's going to give is ultimately the Heavenly Father pouring his spirit out upon his men. And we got to we got to see it. 
Okay, like the Apostle Gabar likes to say, you have to be a visionary, brothers. You have to see these things, you know? Prepare your minds and, and know that, look, it's written, you read it all the time. You read it all the time, okay? Elisha being, uh, I mean, Elijah being beamed up into a chariot, okay? We read it all the time. We we, we have to, you know, uh, meditate upon them, man. And, um, you know, expect the expected, okay? Not expect the unexpected, expect the expected, okay? Because we read about it all the time. And, uh, you know, me and the brother Ramat were having that conversation on the way home from camp. And, uh, you know, we're going to celebrate right quick, you know? We'll have a little drink. So we pull up to the liquor store and there's a dude that's, always there and always begging so I'm, I'm trying to avoid him by any means necessary and uh so i get out and he, he said what's up and i kind of give him a head and i go in the store come back out and then i get in the car and he flags us down like god damn you know I'm just trying to avoid this dude you know uh and you know homeless dude uh at least that from from what i perceive and he had a cart you know with all his belongings in it and he had a cooler and then uh, he gestured to us, and we rolled the window down, and he was like, hey, hey, I, I, I got some, uh, let me show you how these fish I caught, man. And uh, and I was like, huh? And I'm really trying to like, I'm like, man, let's go, you know? But uh, he was like, yeah, man, I caught 144 fish. You know, and, and you know, I, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of oblivious to what he's saying. I'm trying to ignore him so we can leave. And then remark, I hear the brother remark in my ear say, did he say 144? I said, uh, how many fish you say you caught 144? He said, yep, 144 fish, red snappers. And he pulled one out the cool and showed it. He said, that's a red snapper, right? I was like, yeah. And then, he, you know, he put it back in or whatever. And then we closed the door and me and remark just looked at each other like, yeah, yeah, only believe, only believe. So, yeah, brothers believe big you know so yeah i just wanted to push that out there push that vibration out there you know uh, let's keep fighting and keep pressing towards that mark man kwam yasharala shalom